Good afternoon and welcome to our show, The Element Connection, where I am your host, Charlene Lamsley. And on our show, we try to match elements successfully when they go out on a date. Our contestant this week is Miss Oxygen. Let's welcome her to the show. <laughs> Miss Oxygen boasts six electrons. Woo. Come on over, Miss Oxygen, and let's find out how your day went. <laughs> All right. Miss Oxygen had a choice of dates from Helium, who recently appeared in several very prestigious parades, and Mr. Carbon, who was seen at picnics this summer, and Mr. Iron, who has frequented spinach and cast iron. Miss Oxygen, who did you go on your first date with? Well, my first date was, was with Helium. Mm -hmm. And how did that go? Well, I thought Helium and I would be able to get along. He's a poor relation of um, the noble gases, only two electrons. Oh so I thought he'd be willing to slum around. But Helium was much too flighty for me. Oh, well. <laughs> Since the audience chose that date for you, we decided to let you try it again. And who did you choose for your second date? Well, the second date I chose Carbon. All right, and how did that go? Well, Carbon and I got along pretty well in the beginning. However, when we bonded, he just seemed to have much too much energy for me. Wanted to bond with anyone. <laughs> and besides, the two of us together seemed to make everyone nauseous. Oh. <laughs> well, did you ever have a successful day? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. All right. Well, we'll be back to find out about that successful date in two protons and two neutrons after this commercial message. Welcome back to the Element Connection. Miss Oxygen was our guest. And she had two unsuccessful dates, but you finally met an element that you liked. Yeah. And what was the name of that element? Um, it was Iron. Iron. All right. <laughs> We're going to bring Mr. Iron out on stage and hear about your date. All right, Mr. Iron, welcome to the show. Hi. 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 Oh, boy. <laughs> Tell us about <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your date, Miss Oxygen. Well, he picked me up from my apartment of uh, Group 6A right on time, and I really <laughs> like that. Oh, very good. And Mr. Iron, what did you think of Miss Oxygen when you first saw her? Oh, I was instantly attracted to her. She had great electronegativity. <laughs> <laughs> she was so independent, and boy, that out of shell. She was almost a perfect eight. Oh, Miss Oxygen. <laughs> what were your first impressions of Mr. Iron? Well, he was a little shy at first, but he seemed perfectly willing to give up two electrons. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but stacked or not, I, my mother always taught me to stick to the octet rule. Okay, very good. Well, where'd you go on your first date? Well, she told me that she liked water, but I didn't want to take her swimming because that's what broke up my last relationship. Oh. So we just went to a heavy metal concert. Well, <laughs> tell me about the heavy metal concert, Miss Oxygen. Well, normally I, I don't really get into heavy metal. However, during the concert, I felt very close to Iron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very nice. Well, we will be back to reunite our couple after a final word from our sponsor. All right, what is it that we are learning here today? <laughs> Why not iron take oxygen to water on the first date? Answer as chorus, because they form ionic bond. And you know ionic bond break down in water. All right, I want you to remember that the element connection is happening all over the world. And it is brought to you under the umbrella of environmental science. All right, we're going to reunite our happy couple. Mr. Iron, come on up. Oh, look, they bonded. <laughs> 
Well, do the two of you think you'll see one another again? Well, we're a little rusty at relationships, but we're going to give it a try. Well, that's it for the Element Connection today. May all your bonds be more than periodic. <laughs>